what's up everyone this is aditya soma and welcome back to my channel and this is the first video of the indian student video series so in this video i'm going to share about my first day experience in canada so actually before i get to the first day I want to quickly share a sad story that I didn't really share with much people. Um, even like my parents didn't know at that point. Uh, actually, three of us, me and two other friends, um, we met in the consultancy in Hyderabad. Three of us got admission for same college, which is Sarnia Lambton College, and we supposed to come to college on september 6th because that's where our orientation day is so we got visa just like 10 days before our orientation that means we got only 10 days to find the flight and come to canada so we started searching for flight tickets me three two those two other friends we started to look and we, we you know we are going to uh, travel agencies to get the ticket and like tickets were so expensive at that time it was like I believe uh, 1 lakh 10,000 rupees. So we were, you know, trying to find. One day passed by and we found, you know, uh, some, some contact on uh, some website. I don't remember the website name now, but uh, it says like um, they, they provide tickets for, you know, Canada and other countries. So we called up, they said, sure, pay the deposit like 10,000 on the website. Uh, website and everything looked genuine and we paid 10,000 because that he said ticket rate is 75,000 which is like 30,000 less than the other <laughs> tickets so we said you know we got to immediately booked and we booked the flight ticket right away paid 10,000 each so 30,000 and he said uh, you know the agent will come and collect the rest of the money and will give you the ticket at, uh, in hand so that's what he told us and you know I never really took any flight so I didn't know anything about how these tickets look like and everything uh, but my other friend knows about the ticket so uh, he came and we, we all like you know collected the full money like we paid 10,000 rupees and now 65,000 each so total we put it in a, uh, in, in, a in a package and give it gave it to him at home all three of us all our families were there and you know he counted and he gave us the tickets because you know it's a physical copy he already made the print and everything he left and we were so happy we got our tickets and we are ready to fly after three hours or four hours one of us like hold on we gave this guy full money we have the ticket but what if he cancels the ticket so so some reason it started to hit us this is something wrong and we started to call him back again to you know come back and give us the money and we wanna you know do something and now the phone busy no more like answering the call gone that freaking 75,000 gone each 75,000 rupees I'm like oh god already it was like you know my dad borrowed money so I couldn't tell my dad that we lost money and I have to call my friends, cousins, and you know everyone to collect some more money to get to the you know to fi find the flight. So this time we don't want to take any discount, so we paid like one lakh ten thousand or twenty thousand rupees something for our ticket. So that's a sad tour story. Um, but now we got we um, we got the flight, and you know three of us same flight landed in Toronto. So uh, our college, Lambton College. They sent us a ride, you know, bus for, for, for to pick up us um, and, and they gave us five days free accommodation at the residence, like, you know, the college residence. So that was awesome. Good of them. Um, and we landed like almost around um, evening 8 p.m. or something um, on the day we landed. I believe it's a September 4th. That's the day I landed in, in Canada and we went to resident around like 8 p.m. So now we are in the resident and we, we, you know, started to meet other Indian kids, you know, other, other, other people who are already there. So we were communicating, we were talking, we are just, you know, curious, right? Like when you're new, you always ask all the questions. Hey, how is Sarnia? How is the college? All those things. And like, guess what? 
everyone started to tell tell us like so much bad stories which is like hey buddy you came to wrong place there is no part time jobs here i'm like <coughs> my heart is pumping because you know that was like not expected um and of course i'll i'll, I'll tell you what are the lessons i learned at then but whomever i asked they said like bad city no part time jobs because that's a big thing where my dad had no more money to give me so i do i want to do part time jobs and survive so the next day morning instead of going to orientation i decided to change the college and go to a uh, different uh, university in vancouver or toronto so i i, w- I went to the dean's office next day there were two other people actually from three of us one guy decided to you know learn the course he, because he he studies very well he loves the course and the other guy he's in the same boat like me he said you know let's let's get out from this and there was another girl at the dean's office we met at the same time because three of us asking for a transfer no no we were asking for like you know yeah transfer for a different college so basically we took the transfer by like noon or something the next day noon and guess what they told us you got to evict the place like as soon as possible on the same day like the residence we were in so they asked us to leave politely canadians are very you know polite <laughs> but the dean said very politely sir you got to get out <laughs> oh man that's a now we don't know much people there like you know don't know where to go so we started to again look for a ride to toronto because that's where we want to go so this is the sad story three of us uh, generally you know the, the the buses here in canada is like a greyhound buses uh, where you pay like 50 bucks or 60 60 dollars like 50 60 dollars canadian to go to toronto so which is like you know 300 3000 rupees so i said okay you know that's much but let's find a bus at least let's go and we don't know anyone in toronto at least thank god one of our you know the the girl whom we became good friends she said hey i have a cousin in toronto so let's go there they might help us so we we decided to go there but now we need to find a ride because it's sarnia is 4 hours from toronto so finding a challenge uh, finding the ride was a big challenge guess what the what we did we took a taxi from sarnia to toronto which costed us 450 dollars yes yes sorry that was like now i'm laughing but at that time it was like freaking sad i was crying inside like why the fuck i came to canada it's like 450 rupees like you know divided by 3 3 of us thank god at least 3 of us there so it was like very expensive i was like doing my math in my mind like oh my god at, at that time indian rupees canadian dollar was like um 60 60 rupees or something so it was very expensive it 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 came down to like like close to 10000 rupees like 10000 rupees you can travel for 7 days in india that i had to pay for one bus ticket so it's super expensive um but again we had no other way because no accommodation and we are already literally sitting with the luggage in the bus stop that's it so no way we have to spend that money and you know thank god we took it we we we, we went <laughs> and <laughs> another sad thing i know you know i don't know how many people went through this I, i'm curious let me know if you're in canada if you if anything resonates with you um now we will go to toronto this my the friend who, new friend who's cousin and we were there for two days but those two days they literally told us buddy you're you have a good college which good course why do you want to fuck with it just go complete your study and go find a job because if you want to transfer now you have to waste your four months and then you have to find a course it's like so much time taking and money you're just thinking about your part time jobs part time hardly you will make like 1000 dollars for eight months you're going to make 8000 rupees 8000 dollars which is like 4 lakhs but if you get a job after you know education within like two months you will make that money 
so they motivated us now we i at least the two of other guys they decided to stay they didn't you know take that advice sorry the video at the end got corrupted so i'm re doing the end part again so um my other two friends didn't take that advice from the seniors but i took that advice for some reason i was convinced with their reasoning so i said i decided to stay back um, go back to the same course to sarnia for lambton college so again now i have to call the dean you know beg them to take me back to the course thank god in that two days the seat was not filled if seat was filled i would have lost that again so um got the admission back again and this time i didn't take the expensive taxi i took the greyhound uh, seniors helped me to book those things and went to went back to sarnia so uh, i finished my two semesters there and rest of the story i'll tell in the later videos but again two big lessons i learned from this experience was number one you know always don't make your decisions based based on you know some emotions because we booked our flight ticket because we were looking at all the reputable sources like yatra and other websites they're all having 10 1 lakh 10000 1 lakh 20000 all those prices and we blindly believed someone on the phone instead of looking at the reputable because we are out of our mind we were just thinking that about the saving we didn't thought about the other things so make sure you use your brain um, in in emotional situation so that's i actually it's my mistake i learned from it hard way i think you know if you're new looking to come to canada don't make your decisions out of emotion just think logically and the second lesson i learned is uh, i should have did my research man we are sitting on a such a wonderful generation we have everything in front of our uh, on our fingertips online go i should have went on facebook or instagram or any source and talk to some students who are doing that course in sarnia i could i should have find some people and asked all the feedback and all the you know dig more into it to make sure if this course and this city is for me or not which i didn't do strictly because i was just blindly i was with the emotions i want to go out of this country i just want to go study and get into this so i didn't do more research just take your time do the research get the feedback and then make the decisions so that's my experience hope you like my horrible story let me know how do you like it in the comments below i would love to hear from you and see you in the next videos of indian student in canada series until then have a wonderful day